Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back. Unturned, Isle of Wolves 3, spotlighting some mods, checking out the world. So, last episode, I tried to show you this, but I crashed and died. We're going to try it again. This is the Wasp Gyrocopter. Look at this thing. This is another mod from Pugo. Again, I tell you, it's the Pugo, all the Pugo mods that I've checked out so far are really cool. So this is a... Your own little personal helicopter. Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter, just like Mad Max. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, yeah, I'm going to attempt to fly this thing again. Uh, we're over here at the, the Eagle Raceway. We're going to head straight north of the racetrack. It looks like Henderson Military Base is up here, as well as a firework factory. We would check these two places out. If I can actually successfully fly this thing... And more importantly, land it. I see zombies spawning in. They'd be on this thing. Let me on this thing. Here we go. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on, man. You can do it. Right. Just, more. Just a No, no, no. Just a little bit. Get all nuts. Let's see. So if I go into here, I can use the... So if you're not in like uh, in first person, you use the arrow keys for the same thing you use the mouse for. But if you are in uh, first person, you use the mouse. Is that the base up there to the left? It looked like it was more straight. Oh, that's an evacuation shelter. Come on, baby, you can do it. Trust in your instincts to fly. I'm gonna just do a flyby in this evac shelter over here. It's a bit like a. Oh, there's a heli there! There's a heli. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go check this out. Jesus, this is not good, you guys. I'm not good at flying or driving. That thing is so awesome. That is really fun. Really, really fun. Okay, so for today, with the guns, you guys, look. We've got ourselves the HK416. I think most people are familiar with the 416. Maybe didn't know that HK made it. But I also have an ACOG site on the top of it. It actually comes with an EOTech on it. So I put an HK site on the top of it. And we also have the uh, MPX so the MPX here, we're going to try that out as well. Let's take a look at what these bad boys look like. So the site looks super big, but it's it's actually, that's what that's really what an ACOG looks like. If you look above it, that's actually a set of iron sights on top of the ACOG, which is what it has um, in real life. Something happens to your scope, you can use your irons above it without having to use those two knobs on the side as a quick detach. You could take it off, but this gun has no sights on it. You know, a lot of guns do that. When they put an optic on it, they don't put any backup sights on. So you have that over the top that you can look at that. So that's the HK. Show you what it looks like with the EOTech on it. So this is what it looks like with the EOTech. And that's what it would look like. You see how the EOTech is fat on the rail? That's what happens because the rail is a lot skinnier than the actual EOTech. And that's exactly what it would look like with that hood around it. It's really good representation of of the site. So we're going to run that. Now if we look at, here's the MPX. Take a look at that bad boy. huh? You like that? Like a little MPX action? Irons. We can t put the uh, EOTech on here, which is really fitting. You know, uh, an EOTech on an SMG is, is a very fitting uh, optic to put on. So we can try it with the EOTech on it. Let's take a 
glance at this. Look at it. Oh, HK. It says HK on it. Nice. All right, here we go. I'm going to try this out. I have not shot these yet. Let's see what they sound like. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can hear. 5.56. Five, high velocity rounds here. Same M16, M4, AR-15. Same bullets. 5.56 five, NATO spec. It's really good. Now, what makes the what makes the HK416 special? What may, what is you're like, meaty? Why is the HK416 any different than an M4? All right. And when I say M4, I just mean M16, AR15, M4, uh, American version of the 556. Why? What's different about it? Well, the main difference is the HK416 is a piston gun where the M4 is what they call direct impingement, meaning the gas goes down the barrel or the bullet goes down the barrel, the gas propellant comes back through a tube and hits the bolt carrier and cycles the action. Where on a piston gun, it goes down the barrel, up into the front, just behind the front sight, and there's a piston there, and it hits that piston, and then it drives a rod back to hit so instead of gas coming back into your chamber, you actually have just a solid rod that hits the bolt carrier and drives it backward. What's the difference, you ask? Well, one, the piston gun has got more weight over the front. It's heavier. It's heavier over the front. But the gas does not get back into your bolt carrier, so it doesn't gum up your carrier as much. That being said, direct impingement has been around forever. And, you know, if you know how to... Take care of your gun. It's not going to be a problem. Also, where your left hand, your front hand holds up there, you could actually feel that hot gas coming out from underneath the rail on a piston gun. But a piston gun is pretty nice. A piston gun is different when you're going to suppress it, though, because you have that piston pop up front, too. So that's something else to keep in mind. Oh, that looks like a hazardous area over there. This is nice. This is nice. This HK416 is super nice. Really, like, handles really well. Look at that vehicle. Oh, I like that one. That sound like a boss. That sound like a boss. Sounds like a boss in here somewhere. Radiation area. Area. What is this? Oh. Oh. Might be down here. Yes, he's right there. Let's give the old MPX. Oh, jeez! Ah! They attacked, dude. That MPX is legit. Hey, I'm over here, buddy. Wow, MPX is super solid. Super solid. MPX would shoot a 9mm IRL. Ah! He's down there throwing things. Oh, many grenades. He's throwing stuff from down below. That ain't cool. Who? What? I didn't shoot. I no! I wanted that vehicle. Oh, nice. Yuri. Yuri. Rangefinder. So both of these guns are really nice, you guys. MPX, super good. There's an AUG. Oh, look at that. It's a Tech 9. Tech Alaka Waka. That's actually a, a Tech 9 is what that gun is in real life. So not only am I spotlight mods for you guys, I'm passing on a little bit of real life information for you. If you're interested in how these guns relate in real life. Wow, I'm telling you guys, this MPX is super good. Like, the Vector was really good. But this thing being 9mm is a lot, lot easier to handle. It's a nice heli. Until I crash that thing. How am I going to get... I got to get down underneath. There's got to be another way to get down besides just that one path. Because that is super dangerous. <laughs> Oh, they don't see me. On the Look at them all. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because you're getting ADX straight now. That fire dude. Which way to go? They don't go forward, go back. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Oh, that guy's still underneath there. He's trying to throw stuff at me through the ground, which is completely rude. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at all this stuff. Loot! For the... Wow. What is that thing? Ace clip. Oh, he's under there throwing stuff. Nice. Very nice stuff here. Eagle so, wait. Oh, look at that. There's a hatch there. But it says hazardous area. I don't want to go in that, man. I don't have any... I don't have any... Uh, I don't think I have any stuff with it. No, I don't. I didn't... I put those all back in the medicine kit back at the... Back at the house. Just checking out up here. Oh, there's a G36C right there. Night Raider. I didn't want that. Didn't want that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, G36. Super soft. Another HK. That's an HK gun, by the way. If you were curious... All right, let's test this area, see if it actually is radioactive. I went down there. I don't... I, I think I just picked up that pan. I did. I wanted to open. Oh, ham... You got... Listen, if you find a ham sandwich, you got to eat it, right? Hmm. Ham sandwich. Wash it down with a little water. Yeah. Oh, that felt good. So good. Look at... These guys are chock-a-block full of food. Check this area. Entering dead zone. Oh, it's got the thing on. Oh my gosh, the radiation. Oh. Okay, so you're not supposed to go down there that way. You're supposed to go that other way that I went. Oh my gosh, dude. I just got irradiated for days. Another hog. Some ranger ammo. Really would like to go kill that guy, but that guy, look at that was the vehicle that I wanted. Mm -hmm. I'd love to steal that heli, but I know I would crash it. I think I have better better chance with the gyro. Oh, he's right there. Did I kill him? Is that him? Is that his face right there? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! That was a guy. That was a guy right there. Oh, I don't have my, I don't have my bandages hotkey because I crashed and died. Three. Bandage it up, man. Dude, that radiation is super legit. Pretty sure I can jump down there without dying. Is that a guy right there? That's the dude that was hitting me. That guy didn't drop anything super good. Oh, it's a whole cave. Look at this. It's a whole cave setup. Gotta watch out if I enter that dead zone again. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, jeez. Oh, look what they have for me. Some vaccines. Blood bags. A little scope action. A bipod. Range finder. So that area back there is the dead zone. So it's supposed to indicate to you... That there's something down here, and you need to find another entrance. So those vaccines, that's what you need to get rid of all this radiation. Give yourself a little shot. I'm getting out of here. Dude, the evac place is pretty cool. I really I really like it when they set up a lot of like the military-style stuff. Here we go. Ready? Hoot. Hoot. 
Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> or let's, t let's take an attempt at our gyro. Did it? Is that my stuff? That is my stuff. What? Why am I not wearing pants? What the? What happened to my pants? That's my stuff right there. What happened to my <laughs> What happened to my pants, dudes? Uh, uh, I What happened when I got out? Where are my pants at, dudes? I don't have any pants on. I got to find some pants. Oh, there's some pants. What the heck? That's just a regular mil military bottom not forest. Oh my gosh, I lost my pants. Yes, dude. I was I can't. <laughs> Hi, I'm Meaty. Welcome to our base. Let me take my pants off. What? Dude, that is so whack. Because I keep this stuff, you know, it's perfect to keep this in the pants like this. I think I accidentally picked that up. Now, is it because I was doing the I did that and maybe I accidentally clicked on one of these? That could have been what it was. Because I just dropped the pants again. I de-equipped them. Yeah. That might have been what it was. Because it just kicked it out. Oh my gosh, dude. I can't believe... <laughs> no wonder they were shooting at me. I didn't have any pants on. Oh, And I know you can shift that stuff over, but there's certain things I like to put in certain areas. How much fuel? Oh, we're doing no can fuel. So the MPX, you guys, is super good. Super good. Right, let's head on this way. There should be a base over here somewhere. Looks like it's just down the road. You hear the wind? All right, my pants still on? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, I almost landed that thing in the tree. I can't. Oh, there they are. Hi, guys. <laughs> Do a little 416 action on him. That dude was tough. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Some of these guys are pretty tough. I tell you, these two guns here, the MPX and the HK416, are super good. I really like the ACOG, too. Ha! <laughs> Walkie-talkie, I can call somebody. Ooh, MRE. All right, what's your base doing? What's your base? Click. I was going to go full auto to test it. I haven't done full auto on this yet. No need to. Because really you're trying to maximize your bullets at range. That guy's tough. Multi headshots. They got those military helmets on too. Ballistic. They call them Kevlar. You guys are tough. Housekeeping. Do I have my pants on? Yes. 
Actually, you know what I need to do? I need to find pants from one of these guys because it's actually the pants that I was wearing. Vertical grip. All right, let's grab these two things and see if we can put them on this gun. So we can put a suppressor on and a grip. Nice. All right, now we're super secret mode. That's a top. I need a bottom, man. I'm mismatched. Another MRE and an earpiece. Is in it? Oh, ammo. Delish. So these use um, special 556 magazines. They're called 556 mag. They're not military or ranger. And the MPX uses MPX mag, so keep that in mind. All right, we have a suppressor on now. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Until that suppressor wears out. Oh, there's some pants. We got some pants now. We should be good. I didn't drop anything. Get rid of that. My stuff's still in the right place. And I match again. Nice! We're looking good. <coughs> Look at See, with the suppressor, these two guys didn't even know that I shot. <coughs> but in a second... You'll see it's at 64% right now already, just from those few bullets. Oh yeah, we're in stealth. See, one shot, the, uh, the vector took two shots on those guys. These guys here take more shots, because they're slower. Battery. Battery. Oh, we got ourselves a little military. No space. All right. Let's see. I wonder if these can actually fill. Oh, yeah. Look. So these use the low caliber military ammo because that is 5.56 five, after all. Grab this. Do that again. 30. Here's a 10. Refill this one. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, I have an eight times and a sixteen times scope already. Neener, neener. Ooh. Grab one grenade, because I could have used that grenade in that last area. Red dot. Hey, uh, red dot. We should try that on the vector. I mean, on the uh, MPX. Let's try that. Red dot sight. All right. So you can see what the red dot sight looks like, and then you. Put the hollow on. The hollow being from this mod is like really, really crazy custom texture. Looks super good. Shows, oh, look at the tanks. Shows you what the capabilities are. This thing sounds really good too. Got the audios on point with this MPX. Sounds so good. Now MPX is a real gun. Sig makes it. You know, those are some key companies, man. HK, SIG, FN. Whew. They make some really cool military guns. Really, look at this. Oh, yeah. They're like, look, Meaty's been here. <laughs> Destruction. And a little medical tent over here. This is a nice base. No meds in here, though. Let's see what we got. What do we got up here? Yeah. Oh, nice. Maple Strike. Avenger. It's the Avenger. Hoot! Gotta hit up that fireworks factory, right? Really like these guns, man. I really like these guns. This HK is so good. Do you see the bullet drop on it now? Like, that's too close. But if I shoot in the distance, look closely for the bullet drop. See it? I'm moving it out of the way for you. So if you're aimed, like, right there, I just hit the bottom of the tree. And that's what those lines are for. You know, so if you're shooting at, like, say, the top rotor of the thing, you would, you know, that's why you'd use these lines. You don't have to go straight to the line. You go partway in between them. There's usually some even smaller hashtags in there. See ya! <laughs> this suppressor's got to almost be gone. 1%. 
There it goes. Suppressor's gone. But look, you can leave it on there, and it looks cool, even though it's uh, the its sound deadening capabilities are gone. But you can leave it on there. It looks really good. All right, you guys. So again, this episode I showed you one another one of Pugo's mods here, which is this Wasp Gyrocopter, which I'm going to keep this in. I'm going to keep using this. A lot easier to get around with that. As well as more guns from that DR weapon pack in the form of the HK416, as well as the SIG MPX. Pretty cool little PDW. Okay, let's go. Did we ever go full auto on this guy? Hold on. We have full auto, safe, semi, no burst. Look at that. Just sprayed that wall down like it was my... Oh, what's up, guys? They just came back already. Night is falling. Good little auto. Reload. Yeah. Super good. Auto is pretty controllable. Way more controllable than the, uh, than the vector. Now, you might think... That because of 45 versus 9 millimeter, that's not, it's normally the case, but not really because the vector's design is actually got a very unique. Oh, got a very unique uh, bolt which doesn't come straight back. It actually comes back and then rotates down, designed to minimize recoil and muzzle rise on the gun. It's designed to minimize muzzle rise because the vector's cyclic rate, meaning how fast the vector fires is one of the fastest SMGs out there. I believe it's up around 1,100. It's pretty high. But the MPX is super solid, too. Look at that. Really stays on the Look at that. Even at that range, super good. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and these mods. I will catch up with you next time. Thanks for watching.